Hi, Virgo, and welcome to my channel. This reading is your love reading for the month of November. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you're interested in personal reading with me, scroll down the screen, you'll find the information, the prices, and how to contact me. So this is for Virgo for the month of November. And I will do for you how he or she feels about me. So this is your lover at the moment, Virgo. What are they doing in their life? What they do like about you? And what they don't like about you? How they do feel about you emotionally at the moment? What is their intention? Their next move? And what will be the outcome? And this is a card for you for advice <coughs> and this is your energy so you are now enjoying your abundance you are feeling very independent uh, maybe you are single or enjoying being single but you having everything with you now so you're feeling great you're in a good feeling at the moment yes you have the wish fulfilled now as well Okay, we'll give you as well the angels. This is the romance angels. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So that's the first one. And this is the guardian angels. nine of thoughts this is nine of uh, <clears throat> nine of swords so you're probably worried about something stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts towards the positive there is no need to worry anticipating is the worst isn't helpful know that heaven will provide a solution if you are experiencing sleepliness night or anxiety over a challenge in your life release a problem to your angels and this is the angel answer yes i will give you one more see what this is about remain positive all right <clears throat> let me just flip the cards okay so just give me a minute i have a look on all the cards
Okay. <clears throat> so now your lover is, you could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be, but uh, this is the emperor, so it's uh, the Aries. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries. So they, they are stubborn at the moment, very strict, and it's my way or the highway. They made up their mind and they stick to whatever is they been discussed with you before or whatever is being said before you did have any problem. This is could be as well for some of you. This is just your partner because this is a father. It could be a strict mother as well. So this is could be your wife, your husband. It is just they being uh, your partner at the moment and looking after the family. I think they came forward and they told you that they after marriage. It's to marry me or the highway. Yeah. So what they do like about you? They like that you are fiery. You're lovely. You're playful as well. They did enjoy play with you. Yeah, I think so. You have been, uh, because here they don't like that you are the seven of cups. So I think this relationship had a lot of fun. And in the same time, you play it together a lot. And <clears throat> they did enjo enjoy that. They enjoyed b you being playful with them. But then they got upset that you have other options because being a player is being a player. So they were happy that you playing with them and then they didn't feel good about that. You played with others as well. So when you did have other options and after you had fun with them or the, you had fun together, you now left them out in the cold and you closed that cycle or you ended the situation and you left them out in the cold be because might be you probably had other options because this is what they, de they do see about you negatively. So you left them behind because you had other options. You were browsing your options. How they feel about you? They could be feeling that you are uh, ghosting yourself from them. They could be feeling that you are uh, hiding secrets or you hide emotions. Or they could be feeling, this is actually could mean as well as that you could be depressed because that is kind of illusion and feeling not able to see the truth. And that could be as well, feeling sad and depressed and feeling lonely. And this is what they don't like about you or they're not happy that you're feeling you are living illusion or you, you live by yourself probably and just maybe sit down watching TV alone and after being fiery and playful and nice and then you're isolating yourself and being sad and depressed could be <clears throat> and they feel after that you hiding and you ghosted yourself and as well <clears throat> you're depressed because that's card of depression as well yeah so you you hide it after you felt sad you've been hiding and you working hard and you didn't talk to them. Or you could be been working hard and you have been strict as well. And they trying now to be just, uh, the same as strict as you and coming forward and tell you that they want a reconciliation or they want you to marry them either. So you could be, if you're hiding yourself and you separate yourself from them, they want to come forward and tell you that they want a reconciliation. If you, just depressed or hiding not depressed if you hiding and you ghosting yourself after you have been uh, looking around and you left them out in the cold and ghosting yourself and you still keep working or like having your own work or your own life they coming forward and ask you to marry them because they don't want you to have other options and leave them out in the cold what is their intention their intention is to come forward and 
to tell you that uh, maybe they want to come forward and tell you that they are more stronger now and they want to have the ten of cups with you or they want to tell you that they had lots of fun with you and that was nice that playfulness was beautiful and they they want to stay with you this is could be it doesn't have to be a hurtful message it can be just a straightforward message if it is meant to be a hurtful message so they could be very strict now and they are in marriage you know they are married and they're coming forward to tell you leave me alone i am married because that's why they left you out in the cold oh, sorry you left them out in the cold no if they married they're gonna come and tell you that they are married so they will come forward as well and tell you that they are with someone and they are happy now okay uh, and if they if this is the case they will not like that you live in illusion and you keep you keep yourself thinking that they could be with you while the truth is they with someone else what's he gonna do next is trying to balance the situation and to control the situation because there will be kind of a competition or fighting or challenge because of could be balancing the money as well could be trying to be balancing the money and this is where comes the fight here about the money yes i think they they want to marry you and they coming to tell you that to leave other people who who you are hanging with and marry them and i think you might be having kids together because that's a father and then they will come after that forward this is their intention and then they will come forward and try to balance and manipulate the situation <coughs> and keep the situation balanced but they might be fighting with you or there is a kind of a challenge and they will tell you that to choose and pick up it's them or whatever else you are hiding for or browsing yeah because it's my way or the highway you marry me or the highway so at the end you will be confused should you put your guard up or marry them yeah so what should you do next is to take yourself out or should you open your heart to them or should you put your guard up because you're probably scared of them they could be playing you or they could be too harsh or maybe you don't want to marry so anyway <clears throat> your next move is uh, you should take yourself out of this feeling of the hurt and start the healing and as well don't defend yourself too much put your guard down and maybe listen to them and figure out what, what is their point of view because they do see that they do have a point of view if they like uh, if you want to be with them you're feeling the hurt maybe it's a past hurt or hurt from them because they've been hurtful of what they said or maybe they left you out in the cold because you were you were browsing other options and they left you alone yeah anyway it is the time to gain your strength back tame the beast and leave whatever is no longer serve you and move forward
and think about it you can put your guard up but if this person is willing to come forward and you can reconcile and be together and stop fighting and make that balance I think that would be better you just need to make up your mind okay so all the best for you Virgo I hope you like that reading and let me know what you think about it leave me something in the comment if you think that it resonates with you or not just leave me something in the comment and I hope November will be good for you all the best thank you for having me and I will see you next time